Hello and welcome to Enjoy Harmonica. My name is Callum. In this video I'll be highlighting 15 great harmonica players. With such information as, who they play for, what type of harmonica they use, what type of music they play and other facts you may be interested in. Please enjoy the video. David Barrett. David Barrett, born February 6, 1973, is an American blues harmonica player, author and teacher. Barrett has authored a number of harmonica instructional books with Mel Bay Publications. He also runs a website, bluesharmonica.com that teaches harmonica and is the founder and head instructor of Harmonica Masterclass Workshops. Barrett also teaches, judges and performs at events around the world, such as Hona's World Harmonica Festival and Steve Baker's Harmonica Masters Workshop in Trossingen, Germany. David is also featured in Enjoy Harmonica on YouTube. James Cotton James Cotton is one of the most famous harmonicists that ever lived. The blues harmonica genius became increasingly popular during the 80s thanks to a series of albums that he released under Alligator Records. A pioneering harmonica player, James Cotton also worked with Muddy Waters, as well as Howlin' Wolf, thereby helping to popularize the instrument during his heydays. On the harmonica, his playing style was smooth but it would capture you in the most enthralling ways. Today, professional and novice players look up to him and still borrow from his outstanding skills and musical contribution. Bob Dylan Bob Dylan was born Robert Allen Zimmerman on May 24, 1941 in Minnesota and is an award-winning singer-songwriter for whom the harmonica is central. With more than 50 years of musical history, he has evolved through many styles, folk, blues, country, gospel, rock and roll, and rockabilly. He's toured with an ever-changing lineup of notable musicians. The Hona 589C is the Bob Dylan signature harmonica that is reviewed by Enjoy Harmonica on YouTube. He played Marine Band and Special 20 Harmonica. Joe Filisco Joe is first and foremost a great player, the greatest pre-war and country blues harmonica stylist to ever live. Joe's a great post-war Chicago blues player and I wouldn't take anyone's bet that they could play more campfire, TV show or general harmonica novelty songs than Joe. Joe conducts workshops at all of the major harmonica events around the world and teaches weekly at Chicago's Old Town School of Folk Music. He's been featured in documentaries, one specifically was the 1998 German film, Imagination is Limitless, Harmonica's Journey Around the World. He's won Harmonica Player of the Year by the SPAH organization and was given the honor of performing solo at the 2006 Country Music Hall of Fame Medallion Ceremony for the induction of Deford Bailey. Joe is currently performing with Eric Noden and recently released their fourth album together. The review of this album is available at Enjoy Harmonica on YouTube. Joe is also a featured artist on Enjoy Harmonica. Howard Levy Howard Levy is mainly known for his fusion style that combines blues, funk, folk, Latin, classic rock, country, Latin funk, jazz fusion and world music. As such, he is an all-around harmonica player whose sound is unlike any other players. Charlie McCoy Charlie is a super session musician from Nashville Charlie McCoy. In addition to being a fixture in Nashville studios for 48 years, he also has his own recording career going full tilt, recording over 35 solo albums, is a member of the Country Music Hall of Fame. In addition to country sessions, Charlie was a mainstay on Elvis Presley recordings both in Nashville and Los Angeles. When Bob Dylan recorded Highway 61, Blonde on Blonde, John Wesley Harding, and Nashville Skyline, Charlie was there, playing on these landmark recordings. He was also heard on Simon and Garfunkel's The Boxer, in addition to many hits from genres other than country music. Charlie McCoy began recording for Monument Records in the late 60s and recorded 14 albums for the label. J.J. Molto Molto became interested in the harmonica when he first heard folk and rock music, such as Bob Dylan and the Rolling Stones, in the 1960s. He played with French singers such as Yves Montand, Eddie Mitchell, Jean-Jacques Goldman, Maxime Le Forestier, Barbara, and Charles Aznavour in various styles, from blues to jazz. In 1989, he recorded his first solo album, Blues Harp, and toured the world with Manu Galvin at the guitar and with guest musicians including Mighty Mo Rogers and Demi Evans. 
he has authored methods for learning the harmonica and, since 2001, is leading a radio show dedicated to blues on the French station TSF Jazz. He has released many albums and in 2017, JJ collaborated on a new album by Eric Bibb entitled Migration Blues. John Namath John Namath grew up singing in Catholic church and with local bands. In 2002 he was picked up as a featured artist to perform with the famed Junior Watson Band. John also releasing his debut CD, Jack of Harps, that same year. John recorded Come and Get It with Junior Watson in 2004 to rave reviews, scoring well on the independent blues radio charts. When John signed a multi-record recording agreement with Blind Pig Records in 2006, label head Jerry Del Giudice was quoted to say, how impressed I was with John's performance the one time I got the chance to see him. In our nearly 30 years in the business we have never before offered a new artist a recording contract on the strength of one performance. John has now released a number of albums. Players both chromatic and diatonic harmonicas. Brendan Power UK-based New Zealander Brendan Power has worked with artists such as Sting, James Galway, Van Morrison, Paul Young, John Williams and many more. Brendan is an expert player of Irish traditional music winning the 1993 All-Ireland title, and performed for three years as soloist in the Riverdance show. On top of his intense touring and recording schedule, he's a respected harmonica technician and customizer. The Lucky 13 harmonica, invented by Brendan, is reviewed by Enjoy Harmonica. Mickey Raphael Mickey Raphael is an American harmonicist that is best known for playing the diatonic harmonica. Mickey is probably most recognized thanks to his long collaboration with Willie Nelson. Mickey has played the role of Willie Nelson's harmonica player for almost 30 years and his intelligent technique and exceptional playing style that has become the cornerstone of Willie's sound. Jason Ritchie Jason is a one-of-a-kind harmonica player. Extravagant, pompous, expressive. Brought a unique rock sound into harmonica playing. Perfectly handles fast playing. One of his distinguishing features is that he plays impressive pattern-like phrases using 16th notes in pentatonic scales, does overbends bending in his own standing out way, combines smooth and hard attack of playing notes, while both can turn into different kinds of vibrato. Toots Thielman's Toots is arguably one of the greatest harmonica players of all time. Credited with playing some of the best jazz ever produced, he has played with all the jazz greats of the 20th century, from Ella Fitzgerald to Miles Davis and so many more. His harmonica has been featured in a myriad of film scores, including Midnight Cowboy and Sesame Street. Here's Blue Set with Stevie Wonder. Toots uses a chromatic harmonica. Liam Ward. Liam is a winner of the National Harmonica League Player of the Year, and fronts his own band, the Liam Ward Band, as well as playing with the Rumbler Strutters and the Jake Leg Jug Band among others. Liam has appeared and recorded in Europe and North America with artists including Minor Blues and Mike Nagoda, and is adept at blues, rock, pop, country, jazz and more. An experienced teacher, Liam gives harmonica masterclasses at the National Harmonica League Festival and many blues and jazz events, and is a regular contributor to Blues Matters, Harmonica World, and Blues in Britain among others. Liam is a friend of Enjoy Harmonica and he and his album Uprising by the Liam Ward Band is featured in their album reviews playlist on YouTube. Little Walter. Little Walter, Marion Walter Jacobs, was born during the boom of blues and jazz and many consider him to be one of the greatest players of all time. He quit school at the age of 12 and went on the road working, and playing alongside some famous older blues players. He was the original player to cut the harmonic and microphone, so you could hear the harmonica playing. Sadly, he died at an early age. Walter is the only person to be inducted into the Rock and Roll Hall of Fame, as a harmonica player. If anyone should carry the label of being the best blues harmonica player of all time, it may just be Little Walter. Stevie Wonder Stevie was born Stevland Hardaway Morris in Michigan on May 13, 1950 and is a multiple award-winning singer-songwriter who signed with Motown at the age of 11 and has been performing and recording ever since. But it was his ability to play the chromatic harmonica that first garnered notoriety for the blind 12-year-old Stevie. The tune was an instrumental called Fingertips, and it hit number one on the charts. 
Stevie Wonder remains one of the harmonica giants of our time. Usually plays chromatic harmonicas. I hope you enjoyed this video about various harmonica players. Now please subscribe to enjoy harmonica on YouTube. Many thanks, bye for now.